Today, I'll solve one fluid mechanics numerical problem. Here, I'll calculate net positive suction head of a pump. Here is the problem statement. A horizontal shaft centrifugal pump lifts water at 65 degrees centigrade. The suction nozzle is 1 meter below the pump from the center line. The pressure at the suction point equals 200 kilopascal gauge and the velocity is 3 meter per second. At 65 degree centigrade, the saturation pressure is 25 kilopascal and the specific volume of the saturated liquid is 0 0.001020 meter cube per kg. Calculate the net positive suction head NPSH. Now here, the suction nozzle is here. The velocity is given here that is 3 meter meter per second and the suction nozzle is 1 meter below from this pump so from here to here j day so that distance is 1 meter and here the pressure is pressure that is 200 kilopascal gauge and sa saturation pressure or vapor pressure is 225 kilopascal now we have to find out what will be the net positive suction head and we know that NPSH nothing but at this point, I mean at the suction of the pump. So the velocity suppose V1, pressure is P1. So NPSH, NPSH will be V1 square by 2G plus P1 by rho G minus PV by rho G. So PV is nothing but a vapor pressure. So now here first we have to check the problem data, means data given. So pressure at suction uh, point here maybe here that is given that is 200 kilopascal gauge velocity at suction vs that is 3 meter per second suction nozzle below palm center line so that is z a z1 minus z s so that is 1 meter saturation pressure at 65 degree centigrade that p saturated that is equal to 25 kilopascal and specific volume of the liquid at 65 degree centigrade that is V is nothing but 0 0.001020 meter cube per kg. So density of the liquid at 65 degree centigrade that rho is 1 by V. Pacific density is uh, that 1 by specific volume that is 1 by 0 0.001020. So that is 980.392 kg per meter cube. So these data are given from this problem. Now, first the absolute suction pressure is calculated as P absolute is equal to PS plus ATM. So, absolute pressure is equal to gauge pressure plus ATM pressure, atmospheric pressure. So, PS is given 200 kilopascal gauge. So, P ATM will be 101.3 kilopascal. And substituting the value, so P absolute will be 200 plus 101.3. So, that is 301.3 kilopascal. Now, apply Bernoulli's equation this point, that point S and 1. Okay, so we can write the Bernoulli's equation. PS plus half rho Vs square plus rho G Zs is equal to P1 plus half rho V1 square plus rho G Z1. So, PS and P1 is the pressure at point S and 1. Vs and V1, uh, that is not Pascal, that is meter per second, uh, velocity at point s and 1 height difference that is z1 minus zs so that is zd now that net positive suction head calculation so net positive uh, suction head formula that npsh formula absolute pressure head available at point 1 so absolute pressure head available at point 1 minus the vapor pressure head of the liquid so that is that NPSH is equal to P1 by rho G plus here this point P1 by rho G V1 square by 2G minus vapor pressure this point. So P1 by rho G plus V1 square by 2G minus P saturated by rho G. Now Bernoulli's equation for point S and 1 that we got PS plus half rho V square plus rho G Z S is equal to P1 plus half rho V1 square plus rho G Z1. Now we have to organize and then we have to substitute that or uh, that uh, rearranging equation. So now here, so that is the equation. So rearranging the equation, so PS by rho G plus V S square by 2G minus Z1 minus Z S that is equal to P1 by rho G plus V1 square by 2G. 
so that is nothing but uh, that is this term is there in that npch okay so we have to plug uh, other way so that uh, we have substitute uh, this value in terms of this so that is ps by rho g plus bs square by 2g minus z1 minus zs so that is nothing but that za minus p saturated by rho g so now we can write like p such ps minus p saturated by rho g plus bs square by 2g minus z so that is npsh so now we have all this data and we have to plug it plug it or plugging all this value uh, variable value and then we'll get npsh so now substitute value into the npsh equation so 301.3 kilopascal uh, that is that is ps and p saturated is 25 kilopascal so 301.3 minus 25 into uh, 10 to the power 3 then uh, the density that 980.392 into 9.8 g plus v square then 3 square plus 2 g 2 into 9.81 minus z z is 1 now calculating each term so that will give 276.3 into 10 to the power 3 and if we multiply it with 980.392 into 9.81 so that is 9616 17.647 and this is 9y 19.62 minus 1 so finally npch will be uh, this value become uh, 28.72 this becomes 0 0.459 minus 1 so that is 28.19 so thus the npch is approximately 28 meter so in final answer the net positive suction head npsh that is 28.19 meter and remember the the npsh ensures that the pump operate without cavitation means vapor pressure must be lower than npsh means NPS, the net positive suction head should be greater than vapor pressure that's it thank you